Whilst this isn't probably the perfect comparison for you guys, I did buy a BYD803 and I spent a fair bit of time sitting in that cart playing with the touchscreen. Wasn't much you could do. There wasn't really many options, to be honest. It was just, you know, you could basically figure out every option within the, the course of probably 15 minutes. Then I spent a lot of time sitting in a Tesla, a Model 3 and a Model Y. And you know what? After about, I don't know, 15 hours, I still feel like there was a hell of a lot to learn. That can be daunting. Some people can think that's a negative. They can think that that's um, confusing. Others think it's awesome. The amount of data and information is incredible. Like a lot of journalists have said that. They've said, wow, you can do this, you can do that, you can customize this, this and that. But it does show you that um, they're a very different type of product. BYD is really focusing on manufacturing EVs that are a low cost, that are good quality. Tesla is really focusing on having the computer be able to operate everything in the car. And this really, really is a point well proven. When you look at Tesla recalls, 98% of recalls that Tesla do are done via an over-the-air update. So they definitely do have a very impressive ability to change almost every feature in the car. Not every feature, but a very large number via computing, via software. It's a very different way of operating a car. And Goldman Sachs believes that this is some sort of example and evidence that Tesla has a significant advantage when it comes to computing, but not just to computing when it comes to EVs, but also to their artificial intelligence, to the their lead on other automakers, but not just on other automakers, but also on other battery companies. And the interesting thing is here, guys, it's very common now for big batteries to be installed in many places around the world, including Australia and the United States. And the battery won't be made by Tesla. Commonly, the batteries are not made by Tesla. They're made by another company. However, what will happen is Tesla will... The, what will happen is Tesla's software will be used to operate and run the batteries. So Tesla does seem to have the ability to work out the software side of things at a far greater level than what, say, their rivals do. For example, even CATL and BYD. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Goldman Sachs says that Tesla's potential leadership in AI is possibly quite significant. Tesla has received a reiterated neutral rating and a 12 month price target of $235 per share. In other words, the share price is barely gonna move over the next 12 months by Goldman Sachs analysts. And the update comes amidst the EV makers continued efforts to develop its artificial intelligence and full self driving programs. This is an area where I do think Tesla is doing very, very well. There's a lot of marketing from other automotive companies, such as General Motors with Cruise. We all believe General Motors. We all thought, well, Cruise is doing a very good job. Of course, yes, I'm very well aware that their robo-taxis operate under a different paradigm. It's a different way of working. So they operate using HD maps. And they need, they need to basically receive these map updates every day. And they were, and it was working. And I mean, you could apply that philosophy to GM's crews and, you know, put it in all these different cities and essentially they could have a robot taxi in all these different cities. But then we found out that actually human beings were jumping in every three to four miles, every three to four miles having to intervene. And GM kept that quiet, kept that secret. It was revealed recently. So we hear all these things. We hear these things from GM and crews. And we all believe, I'm pretty sure most people believe that GM had this really impressive robo taxi concept they were working we were all thinking wow gm's doing so great here and then it turns out ah uh, yeah not so good after all so i think what we see from tesla it's all very in your face there's all these youtubers making videos saying look how this this sucks tesla did that it sucks i, I tested this it's not that good but the, the the level of criticism and the level the level of actual testing and detail that we're seeing going into looking at Tesla, its flaws, its its good points, its positive points as well, but also its flaws is far greater. And I think that we're not applying those same critiques to a lot of Tesla's opposition. Certainly we are not applying it to BYD. Almost no one mentions, I mean, publicly, if you talk to journalists privately, they will mention this to you privately because I've had private discussions with a number of car journalists that you have know, and I'm sure you subscribe to their channels, they will tell you this, BYD software is crap. That's what they said to me. I don't even ask them for this information. They say it's crap. 
Now, BYD's batteries are fantastic. Their software management for their batteries is excellent. Their vehicles drive fine. Their software is miles behind. Even BYD's CEO, Wang Shanfu, has said, yeah, yeah, it's not real good. He said it himself. So even if you're a hardcore BYD fanboy, there's quite a few of them now, even the CEO of your company that you love is admitting to the fact that Tesla has a sizable lead when it comes to computing, artificial intelligence, ADAS. Have a look at the safety scores. We cannot argue with those. They're done by Euro NCAP. They say Tesla's ability via its software to deal with crashes is better than any other automaker. Now we've got all these other automakers like Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Oh, we're at level four. We're at level three. We're at level four. Next year, we're going to be at level five. You know, um, you know what? Is this really true? Are their EVs being tested and getting shown that their safety scores via their computer's ability to handle these situations are actually leading? Are they the best? Well, I have not seen that yet. That may happen. It certainly has not happened yet. But I do know this. BMW's EV this year scored what? On the safety score, your end cap, it got a four star safety rating. It's a brand new EV and it scored four stars. So I don't know about some of these claims coming from these automakers. I don't know how legitimate they are. They could prove to be awesome, but at this point, I am a little bit skeptical. Anyhow, provided the Tensa capitalizes on its opportunities in this area, and I think it does have some, the analysts have noted that the potential for electric vehicle for Tesla is significant. We believe in an upside case that full self-driving could be $50 to $100 a year of revenue from Tesla's fleet by 2030, up from what we believe is one to three billion per year presently. That was from Goldman Analyst's note. While Tesla is dominating a dominating force in the electric vehicle sector, Elon Musk has noted in the past that Tesla could be seen as an AI company at its core. And a lot of people are skeptical of those claims. A lot of say, people say that's just Elon talking. That's just Elon nonsense. But I'm not really convinced that's true. I mean, for example, why is it that all of a sudden, every automaker in North America, nearly everyone, I think what's left Stellantis, maybe Volkswagen, that's it. Everyone else has said, yeah, okay, Tesla's charging software, it's the best. Tesla's chargers, they're the best. Tesla's NAX charger is the best. Um, why is it all of a sudden, all these automakers have gone, yeah, you know what, we blasted giga, giga casting. We said it, it was just Tesla's whimsical fantasies. Uh, but actually, now we've just bought some giga casting machines ourselves. Toyota, Hyundai, Kia, Ford. Uh, there's others as well who have done this. There's another European car maker who wants to keep it secret, Volvo as well. At what point do we say, hmm, interesting. Why do they keep copying them? What about structural battery packs? Pretty much everyone in China copied that after Tesla revealed that that's what they were doing. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not critiquing those automakers for copying Tesla for doing that. It's a good thing. And there's nothing wrong with copying someone if they're doing something well. I think that's a good idea. But the point here is, we keep criticizing Tesla and bashing the hell, of the hell out of them. It's very, very common now. Even if you are someone who likes to indulge in that pastime, you've got to admit you're indulging in it. At some point in time, you've got to say to yourself, am I enjoying doing this? Has this become my thing now? It's become a lot of people's thing. But sit back for a minute and think about it. Who is copying Toyota's way of making EVs? Who is even copying BYD's making way of making EVs. Now, yes, a lot of automakers are using BYD's batteries, but it's not just BYD's batteries. They're using lithium ion phosphate batteries predominantly because they're cheaper, predominantly. Now, of course, there are other advantages, but that's the key reason why. So realistically, is Tesla's way of doing things in general, not always, but in general, is it just that step above? Is their software another example of what I'm talking about? Just putting it out there. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. As noted in investing.com, Gold, the Goldman Sachs analysts maintained that Tesla stands on strong footing to emerge as a leader in AI-related innovations. Well, right now, a lot of people are skeptical of this. They think Tesla's lead in AI is no lead. It doesn't, they don't have a lead. But is this simply because we're a little bit more critical on Tesla than we are on other automakers? Maybe. The analyst's optimistic outlook seems to stem from Tesla's extensive resources, says Tesla Rati, 
an industry leading engineer in talent across chip design, data fields, hardware and software, among others. And this makes me think of a company, Berkshire Hathaway. I mean, 50% of their portfolio, they have $300 billion invested, $156 billion is invested in Apple. So just over 50% is invested in one company. Does Apple really do anything that's all that amazing? Is their technology really all that great? It's not really, is it? It just works. Maybe that's more what we should think about. The Goldman Sachs analysts expect Tesla's leadership in the AI segment to help the company expand its AI-based businesses. These include full self-driving, which is the core technology for the company's planned robo-taxi business. Full self-driving has been a large challenge for Tesla and everyone else. Though expectations are high that the upcoming version 12 update, along with Tesla's V4, basically their latest version of their hardware and the computers have been upgraded. They've seen a big upgrade. They've gone from about one and a half megapixels to I think four to five megapixels plus have added an additional camera. It's quite a bit better in terms of its actual hardware. So if we combine that with Tesla's recent acquisition or recent building of its Dojo supercomputer, which is actually the most powerful supercomputer in the world in terms of just pure speed, it's very possible Tesla could actually end up doing what it's been saying it would do for the last 12 months. Hang on a minute. No, no, no. I lie. For the last 10 years, Tesla have made some big promises and haven't achieved some of them yet. But incredibly, Tesla has achieved some insane things. When you look at their actual master plan, who makes a master plan 10 years ago that is so incredibly ambitious and achieves so much of it? I don't think anyone else has been able to do that. So does this mean I believe Tesla will pull off full self-driving and therefore become a multi-trillion dollar company, have robots making its cars? Eventually, I just don't know when. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.